Okay, to start our Box 2D project, we're going to need to do three things. Number one, we want to start our project in Flash Develop. Number two, we're going to create our FLA file in Flash. And then number three, we're going to link to our Box 2D libraries, both in Flash Develop and in Flash, so that when we actually run our project, Flash knows what the heck a B2 world object is. So let's go through that right now. First, I'm going to bring up Flash Develop. Probably if you start up, it's going to look a little something like this. And I'm going to create a new project. Um, I can either do it clicking on this create a new project link or under project, I'm going to say new project. Let's do that. We probably want this to be a flash IDE project. And we're going to call it, uh, let's call it hello box world. And I'm just going to put this in my, my documents folder by clicking create directory for project we're going to make sure that you can see that our, our hello box world project file is going to appear in this directory called hello box world within my documents and so we're going to click ok and now we've got the hello box world and uh, no files in it so that's uh, sort of good I guess um, it's at least to start Let's go to Flash and create the corresponding .fla file. So we're going to open up Flash here. I'm going to select New, and then I'm going to basically ask to create a FLA file that uses ActionScript 3.0. Hit OK. And uh, let's save this so that we know where this thing's going to be. So I'm going to jump to my documents and I'm going to jump into Hello Box World and let's just call this Hello Box World .fla. Save it. And uh, while we're at it, let's create our, uh, our main class here. So I'm actually going to do this within um, Flash Develop. If you right click, um, you should be in the sort of project window here in the, on the right side. I'm going to right click on it, click Add. I'm going to ask to create a new class. I know some people like to create their base class with the name of main. I actually like creating my base class with sort of the same name as uh, the directory and, and the .fla file. So I'm going to create hello box world .as. Great. Let's say it extends movie clip. And uh, that looks like a pretty nice little uh, file to start with. We'll do the same thing in Flash. We'll now... Hello box world. I always forget whether I have to add .as to the end of it, so let's see. Yep, okay, it's fine. Just for fun, I suppose, let's run it. Wow, fantastic. We got a Flash file that does nothing. So, everything's pretty good so far. Okay, now let's look at uh, part three of what I need to do to get set up which is linked to our box 2D libraries. So uh, we've got all these box 2D libraries. We need to make sure that my Flash file knows about them so that it can compile correctly. We also need to make sure that Flash Develop knows about them so it can give me all the proper hint coding. So there's kind of two ways to do it. The quick and dirty way is just take the box 2D folder that you've probably unzipped somewhere to your desktop and uh, copy it into your directory. So uh, let's take a look at that. All right, here's my hello box world. And here's my box 2D flash zip file that I have unzipped. Here's that box 2D directory that I was telling you contains all the important stuff. Simplest thing to do, copy it all over and uh, I'm all set. This works and it's got some nice advantages. The advantage number one being, boy, that was really easy to get set up. Advantage number two is that I don't have to do any fooling around with my class paths. And advantage number three, which is actually a nice one, is if I want to work on this Hello Box World project on another computer, let's say I've got a laptop that I want to work on and I feel like going back and forth between them, it's real easy to just copy this entire directory and go. The disadvantage is if I happen to be making a whole bunch of, um, of games that rely on the Box 2D library, I'm going to have 18 different versions of this Box 2D folder copied everywhere. And if one day, God forbid, I actually want to upgrade my Box2D version, 
maybe there's a version that's faster or more powerful, I'm going to have to uh, copy it into 18 different locations and it's probably going to be a mess, which is why I think probably people would tell you that the proper way is to uh, have some sort of flash utilities directory somewhere and uh, put your box 2 d folder into that. And then you can link to this parent folder um, in your class paths. I'll show you how to do this because I think this is probably slightly more complicated. If you know how to do this kind of thing already, this might be boring, so bear with me. So let's go back to Hello Box World. I'm going to delete this folder. Yes. And then over in uh, my documents, I've created just another folder that I'm calling Flash Utilities. This is going to be sort of my little uh, directory that I am going to copy box 2D into. So go back to my box 2D, unzip stuff, take this oh so important directory, and I'm going to copy it into here. All right, so it's been copied, all that's great, but let's see what happens if uh, I now try and use this box to directory. I'm going to just create this little, only create a var. And we call it d2world. Save it. I'm going to hit F6 in Flash Develop that basically runs this program in Flash. And I get some error basically saying, I don't understand what this b2world type is. That's because while I might have my Box2D directory hanging out there ready to be used, I haven't told either Flash or Flash Develop um, anything about it. So in Flash Develop, and you have to do this unfortunately in both programs, so this is kind of why it's a little bit of a pain. I'm going to go to Project, I'm going to select Properties. And under Class Paths, I'm going to click Add Class Path. And under my Documents, I've got all sorts of fun stuff here. I am going to select that um, Flash Utilities directory that we've just created. Note that within Flash Utilities, there's also a Box 2D directory. I'm actually just going to select the parent directory here. I'm going to say OK. And OK. Let's try this again, by the way. If I uh, create my protected bar world, I hit colon, and now I start typing B2 world, You'll notice that Flash Develop is now completing this for me, saying, oh, I know what this is. This is B2 World. You link to that in your class path. So uh, cool. I'm going to hit Tab to uh, basically finish typing it because I'm lazy. And not only is it going to uh, give me the rest of my B2 World variable type, but it's also going to include the correct import statement up above. So that's great. Flash Develop knows about it. Although if I now run this, I'm going to get the same error as before because while Flash Develop knows about this uh, directory, Flash does not. So let's go into Flash. And I'm going to go down to Publish Settings. And I'm going to go into Flash. And I'm going to click the Settings button next to ActionScript 3.0. I'm going to do two things. I'm going to uncheck Automatically Declare Stage Instances even though that's not necessary right now, I always feel like it's a, it's a good idea to do. And then I'm going to add a class path and uh, maybe I'll just click on this little browse to path button for me. Under my documents, flash utilities, again, make sure you link to flash utilities and not box2d or whatever this parent directory is that you've decided to create. I hit okay, hit okay again, hit okay again. And finally, if I uh, save this and I hit in Flash Control Enter to view it, now everything's happy. It doesn't give me any sort of compiler errors. It knows about this B2 world class that I've, uh, that I've created. Note again that you have to link to the parent directory, Flash Utilities, and not Box2D. That's because I'm telling it import Box2D.Dynamics.B2World and so when it's looking to, when Flash is looking to import things, it starts with this parent directory of Flash utilities. And then when I say import box2d, it's then going to look inside here for a folder called box2d. And then it's going to look in here for a folder called dynamics. And that's where it's going to find this B2 world file. If I had accidentally set my class path to look 
to point to box2d directly, it would look in here for another folder called box2d and it would get confused. Note that Flash gets confused. Flash develop seems to be smart enough to know what you were talking about. And those of you who know about editing global class paths, um, I won't get into that here. You can certainly do that as well. So, hey, look at that. We've actually written some code and it's worked. Um, it's done nothing because all we've done is declared a variable and then did absolutely nothing with it. But the fact that I was able to export it, it was able to run, and it knew what I was talking about when I said something was a B2 world variable is a pretty big step. So uh, now that we've declared this variable, let's uh, see if we can actually do something useful in the next lesson.